Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, March 26, 2014. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts here. You're going to see that the futures are trading higher again this morning. Seems like each and every morning the futures are jumping up before the opening bell. Uh, they're trading higher by about six points at the moment to around 1865 and a quarter to 1865 and a half. So decent uptick here in the futures market. Uh, we just had some durable good orders released, I believe. And you'll see what happened here on that news. The dollar yen, which uh, immediately spiked higher, now coming back in. And as soon as the dollar yen came back in a little bit, you'll see that the uh, S&P 500 E-mini futures have also pulled back a little bit. I'm not sure how this is all going to play out today, but nonetheless, uh, we'll keep it on the radar and we'll see exactly uh, how this market reacts. But all in all, um, I, I don't really know if we should make much out of the uh, durable good orders, which climbed 2.2% in February. Um, but what I think we should make a, a little bit more out of is watching the dollar yen and also watching these different relationships that go on intertwining in between uh, equities and currencies and also bond yields and, and equities. So I think that's more important if you ask me. Um, <clears throat> right now, we don't really see anything uh, harmful in the market, but uh, we'll see how this all shakes out once the opening bell rings. Let's get into some stocks here that are moving around this morning. We're going to start off with this company called Five Below. It looks like uh, they reported earnings today. I guess the earnings uh, were better than expected, or at least the market's perceiving it that way. So Five Below, which I believe is like a discount retail, like a $5 store. Instead of a dollar store, it's a $5 store. But uh, the store did, um, I guess it, 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 the market's receiving it pretty well today. So you can see the stock here is uh, trading at $44.44. .44. Uh, it closed at $38. That's a pretty strong gap up. So this is one I'm reserving for the chat room today. Uh, we will look to take a trade in this one on the short side at some point. Um, I do have some resistance points. Uh, they'll be posted up in the chat room at around uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to keep this one on the radar today. Uh, for a gap play in the chat room. So uh, if you want those, come on over to the chat room. That'll be posted up right around 9 o'clock in the morning. Next one we're going to look at here is Movado Group. This stock is gapping up pretty nicely as well. It closed at $42.03 yesterday, um, now trading at $45.15. So this is, I believe, another earnings play. Uh, Movado being well-received today, at least at the moment. So uh, the stock is, uh, I believe they also increased... Uh, Announced a 25% dividend increase as well, so uh, we'll see how that uh, how that's well received by investors. At least at least so far it is. We'll see how it plays out. Um, this is a hard one for me to really pinpoint a resistance level um, in that $45 area. I have to think you're going to hit some resistance. Then really the double top looks to be around the 48.50. So I wouldn't short this one because it is a pretty strong gap today. Um, it can trade as high as $52. That's a level where I would get interested in fading this equity, a pierce of 52. So make it 52 and a quarter, 52 and a half. That's a level where I think this stock will stall out. So keep Movado Group on radar if it can get up that high. I'm not sure it does that, but if it does get up there, that would be a level I would be interested in fading the equity. Um, for a scalp play. And remember, a scalp is just a quick day trade, 10 to 30 minutes. Next one we're going to look at is this PVH Corp. Uh, this is a clothing maker. Uh, right now, <clears throat> the stock's trading up around $120.20, closed at 117 The stock could trade all the way as high as 127 So I, I'm not sure it gets up to that level, but it can trade there. This is uh, a very light volume stock for the most part. Rarely does it trade a million shares a day. These things have a tendency to go higher than people expect. It's also a very strong gap. So I don't see really any major resistance until around 127 and a quarter, 127.50. Um, and I think traders should keep that level on the radar. But um, other than that, I don't know if there's a whole lot you could do with it. But if it got up there, um, that's a spot. If you own it, where you would take profits. If you don't own it, you would trail the stop loss. Uh, also, that's going to be a level where if you're an aggressive trader, you could probably try to fade it. The next resistance point would obviously be $129. This is a tough stock to try to get in front of on the short side because of its of its low volume nature. So again, when this thing moves, it can move in big spurts, and um, that's what you have to watch for. But watch the 127 and a quarter, 127.50 area. That you, that should be decent resistance today, but it's a, still a tough 
tough stock to get in front of. Uh, let's take a look here at uh, Facebook. They bought a company called Oculus. Again, I really don't know where Facebook is going, um, but nonetheless, um, they did make another acquisition for $2 billion, and this is going to be like um, some type of uh, game game gear maker and uh, 3D you know, graphic maker, and they have some pretty neat stuff in the pipeline here, but nonetheless, we'll see if uh, Facebook can monetize it. I guess they got a lot of people they could sell to, so... Um, the stock right now is trading at $64.90. I'm ultimately expecting Facebook to go down to $62. So watch that level. If it gets there, you probably could uh, see a, a small intraday bounce for a scalp. But I, I kind of expect Facebook to get down to 62 bucks today. Um, I'm really not seeing much there. Next one we're going to look at is Toyota Motor. What you're going to see here for Toyota is that the stock is up on some news that they're going to do a share buyback. Um, I don't know if this is a smart move buying shares up here at $108, but I guess it's better than buying them at 135 where the stock was trading last uh, July. So uh, nonetheless, um, the stock right now is pulling back a little bit off those highs. did reach the 112 level. I guess Toyota could trade back higher. I, I don't really see any major resistance on the chart here to 116.50. When the stock gets to 116.50, if it gets there, that would be a spot where the stock will stall out. I'm not sure that's going to happen today. Let's take a look at um, Sotheby's. Now, this one's in the news because it looks like activist investor Dan Loeb is suing the company. He's trying to get rid of their poison pill. Um, this stock could be interesting today because um, this news right here could give it a little bit of a boost. I'm not sure if it will or it won't, but nonetheless, um, we'll see. Anytime these... These activist investors like Dan Loeb or Call Icon get involved. It, it usually is, um, you know, it will move the stock a little bit. So again, I don't know if there's much downside to this one. I guess around the forty-two dollar level is, is a spot where there'll be a little bit of short-term support, and there also looks to be pretty good support around forty bucks. So um, you know, this one could be a bounce candidate today, but we're gonna have to see how it plays out once the opening bell rings and where it lands. But um, this one actually can be uh, a bounce candidate today. Uh, looking over at the oil market today, you do have light sweet crude trading higher by 52 cents to 99.70 a barrel. So oil continues to remain right underneath the $100 marker. Let's go to the USO, which is a good proxy for light sweet crude, and you'll see that's trading at $35.91. Um, can we make a lot out of it? Not really. Uh, oil just continues to remain in this range bound level. If it trades down to 34.60, that's your bounce play today for the USO. Other than that, there's not much I would do with oil uh, personally. Let's take a look at gold. the gold market today. Gold has been bouncing around. So far, gold futures are trading higher by about 2 bucks to around uh, $13.13 uh, and 20, 20, 20, 40 cents, $13.13.40. $13, now it's, it's, it's right around that $13.13 .13 level, so it's bouncing around there. Take a look at the GLD. You'll see that's really been trading all over the map here, but it's right now settling in at 126.48. Again, I would not rule out a little bit more downside in gold. I don't think there's a lot left to it, but I could not rule out a couple points lower in the GLD uh, ultimately. But either way, um, gold is flat before the opening bell. I'm not sure how much we can make out of it, um, but nonetheless, I would not rule out a little bit more downside in gold uh, before it does find another low. With that said, everybody, I'm going to leave it here today, short and sweet, um, and we'll see how this market plays out. But you got plenty of levels to work with, and there should be some pretty good action in the intraday stock chat, which will begin uh, right around 9.25 this morning. With that said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we'll see you on the charts.